forensics confirmed the bullet came from your gun, Scott. Well, it's impossible. I didn't shoot the guy. Look, I couldn't believe my eyes either when I read that report. Whoever tested the gun must have made a mistake. Well, this is exactly what Bordizo wants. I mean, that's why I told Taggart I shot him. Frame up. Exactly, you know. Somehow he's made it look that the bullet that creased his head came from my gun. He's done a very convincing job of it, too. I hate to say this, but beating this rap is going to be a lot harder than we thought. Hi, is I... Dr. Lambert up here? You know, you might want to try ICU. I saw her there last. Great, thanks. Uh, Kevin, actually, uh, do you have a minute? Actually, no, I don't. It's just that I... I heard Scott Baldwin was charged with the attempted murder of David Bordisa. I'm sure he doesn't need you to worry. That's what he has Lucy for. Yes, I'm, I'm well aware that Scott and Lucy have gotten back together again, and I'm, I'm very happy for them. Have a good evening. our baby and you weren't doing what was best for him nor for me but only yourself i was young and confused if i made a mistake i am so sorry you take my child from me because you think i'm incapable of loving you kill our child and you come in here and tell me you're sorry Evie said I killed my son. Eve, for a moment, I, I thought you meant that you... What? That I... That I shot D.V.? Yes. No. No, but I, I wanted him dead. I wanted to kill him for lying to me and making believe my son was alive. But as I stood here watching him, just now I... I realize that he's not to blame. I am. I'm responsible for my son's death. If you were a kid, you were terrified that Dee would take your baby away. But I didn't take care of myself. I had this innocent life growing inside of me, and I didn't take care of it. But you didn't have the money or the know-how to get the right care. But Dee did. He did. And if I had been honest with him from the beginning, right from the get-go, my son might still be alive today. Are you still on duty? No. No, I, I've been off for about ten minutes. Now. Come with me. So Bordizo has got one of those idiot cops down there at PCPD in his pocket, and he's set me up. Okay, but wait, wait, wait. How could Bordizo make sure you would show up at Meg's crypt. Well, after what he did to you, he knew that I would snap at anything. Especially the idea that he was down at my mother's grave. I figured you'd be too smart not to bring a gun. So I get there, somebody starts shooting at me. I start shooting back. I got powder burns on my hand. And evidence against you. Exactly. And further, they doctor up the, the forensic report. So no matter where I was, the evidence would point at me. No alibi. But, but, wait, 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 wait. Kevin, Eve, and I all got messages to show up at that crypt. Well, what if we'd run into you first before D.V. was shot? That would give you an alibi. Yeah, well, maybe one looked like it was some kind of conspiracy, you know? There'd be other suspects. Oh, but Scott, think about it. This man took a bullet to the head. Normally, that kills people. He survived, but 
Would he really be willing to almost die just to get back at you? Well, he's pretty sick. He may have shot himself to put me in jail. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Or maybe he got one of his goons. If they're as stupid as my goons, maybe it was an accident. Accidentally just creased his head when it wasn't supposed to. Yeah, well, the only answer we have right now is it seems that you're being framed. Yeah, and it's going to be tough to get out of it. I'll check deeper into that forensic report. No, you're not going to go to work now. You were hit over the head. You were kicked in the ribs. You take it easy for a while. Listen, I came through it all right thanks to you. I knew you'd find me. Sometimes they underestimate us Baldwin boys, don't they? You're my son, and I'll do whatever is necessary to get you out of this mess. Thanks. Yeah. All right, I got to run. I'll call you as soon as I get anything. Okay. Sick, twisted workers will do anything to set me up. What's the matter with you, Lucy? Why are you so quiet? Obviously, given the circumstances, I have a lot on my mind. What's on your mind? I, I'm a little worried, you know? You think I shot Bordizo? Well, 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 the mighty David Bordiso. Helpless. Not in charge anymore, are you? How's that feel? You see what happens when you get careless? When you become so obsessed with revenge for Scott Baldwin that you, you make stupid mistakes. Huh. Oh, well. I guess it's best anyway, because I have my own ideas for Scott Baldwin and you with your macho games would have just messed everything up. So, now we do things my way. Which is the way it always should have been. Pulling the plug? Merely checking the oxygen flow. <sighs> no, levels don't seem to need adjustment. Even if they did, shouldn't you call a nurse or a doctor? You know, last time I checked, I was a doctor. I meant the kind with a little more hands-on experience. Well, I might be a psychiatrist, but I still give a pretty mean exam. Wise that you're seen lurking around Devi's hospital room? Just checking on a patient. I thought you didn't want to be connected to Bordiso. Unless you're here just to keep an eye on him. You're here to make sure whoever tried to waste him doesn't get a second opportunity. It's great thinking. Since when are you so protective? Devi promised to buy Julie's jury. You know, guard the guy with my life if it means Julie's release. You know, D.V. is in no position to make good on any promises, but trust me, I will get Julie acquitted. Well, I'll take my wife's freedom any way I can get it. Speaking of Julie, uh, have you made any progress on getting me in to see her? It looks like I'm going to have to call in a couple of favors, but I'm working on it. Promise. Well, you know the old saying, actions speak louder than words. Or in this case, promises. Oh, Dr. Lark. Mary, hi. Hi. Hey, how's Victor? Oh, he couldn't be better. His illness is back under control, thank God. Well, I'm glad to hear that. He's such a lovely man. I'm so grateful for all your help when he was hospitalized. What are you doing for Thanksgiving? Do you have relatives nearby or even have dinner with friends? Well, I think I'm going to catch up on some work. Oh, you most certainly are not. You're going to have dinner with us. No, I wouldn't intrude that way. Nonsense. You're new in town, and I wouldn't think of knowing you were alone on Thanksgiving. And that's the end of the discussion. Oh, you're very generous. Thank you. Now, we'll be at Kevin and Eve's, and you can come around 3 o'clock, okay? Um, yes, but under one circumstance, you let me bring something. Not necessary. Uh, yes, I insist. How about, um, my specialty? Sweet potato pie. Oh, sounds heavenly. Great. See you at 3. 
Do I actually think you shot David Bordiso? I know you'd love to. I know you tried to once before. I failed, and I'm glad I did. Otherwise, I'd be in jail, and I'd be away from you and the kids. I know that, but things have just gotten so nuts lately. You know, we were so enthusiastic and excited. We beat Bordiso. We defeated the Cobra Project. And then what happens? He pulls us back in and away because he kidnaps Lee. He lures you to Mex Crypt. Things are really nutty because he knows he's trying to drive you crazy. So you think he drove me crazy? I went over there and I shot him in the head? I don't know. I, I know that things happen when people are provoked. And uh, do you know when he called me on the telephone and he told me he knew where Christina's mother was? It put me into such a rage. But you didn't shoot him. And you wouldn't shoot him because you wouldn't hurt anybody. I don't know. I would go over there with no intention of shooting him. But maybe if he provoked me just right, things could happen. Maybe he provoked you just like that and things got a little crazy. It didn't happen. I'm not trying to make you angry. It's just I need to know what really happened so I know what we're up against together, what we're up against. Lucy, Lucy, come on. I, I didn't shoot the guy. Are you sure? I had two choices. Jail or you and the kids. Now, what do you think I would choose? I'm sorry. I'm sorry for doubting you. You know, it's just that everything is going so fast right now. I know, I know. We're just back on track here, and now we got this whopper of a frame up on our hands. Okay, which we will stop and we will defeat. Together we can do this. You're damn right. <laughs> it's peaceful, huh? Yes, it is. Thank you, Kevin. I know you came here the other night, but you didn't get the closure you needed. That your anger at D.V. got in the way. Yes, it did. Well, we can't bring your baby back, but at least you can say goodbye. I'll give you some privacy. No, Kevin. There is nothing that I don't want you to hear ever again. Being alone with your thoughts isn't keeping a secret from me. How can you forgive me for what I did to you? For taking Victor's letters? I wish you hadn't lied to me. I was so afraid and confused. Blackmail tends to do that to a person. But I still shouldn't have given in to DV. I should have just come to you right from the beginning. I can't disagree with you, Eve. But I think you should start with forgiving yourself. were my grandfather's favorite flowers. My grandpa was a great man. You would have really liked him. He would tell me that he, when he was little, he would lie in a field of daisies and look up at the sky and dream about where life would take him. He wanted to be a pilot and fly around the world like Lindbergh did. He never made it. He ended up staying in his hometown selling floor tiles. But I think about him a lot. And I look up into heaven. And I know that he's up there finally. Flying his plane. Waving his wings at me. And I know that you're up there with him now. In the seat him. And he's watching over you until I can join you guys up there. But in the meantime, I want you to know that you're in my heart. And when I look up to heaven,
You okay? We feel like things are going to get better. Hopefully they will. Not just with accepting my baby's death, but with us. If you were you, I think things could have turned out very differently. If you weren't you, I never would have hung in there. These last few months have been... I wouldn't want to wish them on anything. Especially us. Kevin, do you think that maybe we can move forward now? We can try. Love money, the good life, and scheming. Dreams do come true. Oh, well, mine have. <laughs> she should have known better. If we're spotted in public, this could ruin everything with Palmer. Then to try to put one over on him. You want me to bring your wife's lover to Pine Valley? <gasps> yes. All My Children, ABC Daytime. Oh, Monk, thank goodness you're back. Did you happen <clears throat> to pick up any rutabagas? What's up? How could I forget rutabagas? What's going on here? Why, it's Thanksgiving. Oh, my gosh. Did we make plans to spend this together? Oh, well, who had time for any formalities? Oh, Victor, I told you to call, I Kevin. meant to. I meant to. It just slipped my mind. Oh, I'm so sorry. We were hoping we could have the dinner here. I mean, there's no way everybody can fit into her apartment. Uh, who's everybody? Karen and, and Joe and Courtney and Neil and Frank and... Well, what's Thanksgiving without family? Pointless. Please. Sure. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Where are the napkins? They're in the kitchen, Mary. Oh, okay. Dinner with Frank. Now, there's something to be thankful for. Sure, but he's family, like it or not. Not. Well, surely we can manage to get along for the occasional holiday. You know what? Victor's right. Especially Kevin. this one. We have decided to have a traditional Thanksgiving, just as the pilgrims did. Mary hasn't been too keen about the notion, but I think she's warming to the idea. I'm not too keen on any of this. The Collins family is the only family I have around here right now. And I'm very thankful for that, so I think that we can open our home for this very special occasion. Excuse me. Rachel. Hi. Uh, one sweet potato pie ready to put in the oven tomorrow? I couldn't marry. Oh, hi. Uh, I am quite oh. certain that the pilgrims didn't have marshmallows. Uh, thank you so much for dropping it by. Come to think of it, they didn't have sweet potatoes yet either. <sighs> Fight. Fight. Uh. Oh, pardon me. <laughs> so let me understand this. You're spending Thanksgiving here? Mary invited me. Oh, well, that was sweet. Look, I realize I'm not part of the family, and I may not even be one of your favorite people, but I'll be on my best behavior, really, if you will. Why ruin it for everyone? I'll try. All right. Well, I can't ask for more than that. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Victor, good night. Yes, uh, Monk, do you have an extra shovel? Why? I need some help digging the fire pit for roasting. I found that. Oh, Mary, no, 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 sweetheart, not white. Uh, uh, we need mustard, uh, uh, russet, uh, earth colors. Shovel. I have a feeling we may not even survive tomorrow. I'll talk to you later. See you tomorrow. What? What What did Lee say? They found another blood type at the crime scene other than Bordizos. They're running a DNA test. Well, you cut your hand at the crime scene, so the blood could easily be yours. No big deal. And I'll run it with the test they have on file. Right, which will prove nothing. I mean, it doesn't tell them anything they don't already know. So you were at the crime scene. It doesn't mean you shot DV. I can't believe how detailed his, his plot was. 
I mean, all I had to do was show up, and I did, and now, look at, I, I, I'm screwed. No, you're not. No, yeah. you're not. God, we'll prove you're innocent because you are. We'll prove it. Yeah. And you know what? I am not going to let this ruin our holidays. <laughs> Good, because despite all of this insanity, we actually do have a lot, a lot to be thankful for. Those DNA tests ain't going to be back till Monday, and you're right. Thank you.